Hey everybody and welcome back to Hardcore Minecraft and today I am going to be working on building some brand new tools. So last episode I built the smeltery here and this is going to be really helpful for making all kinds of tools. Now I made this really standard like iron pickaxe last episode, which is just like a, a basic pickaxe. But there's a lot of other things that you can do. You can actually like upgrade your tools in here. You can add like different modifications. And if you look at the book here, you can see all different things that you can get. So one of the things I wanted to try and get was luck. Because luck allows you uh, to get pretty much like fortune or looting depending on if you're using it on a sword or uh, like a tool like a pickaxe. So there's a bunch of different things that you can get on your tools to help them do uh, different things. Uh, there's also special types of tools that you can make in this. Uh, like one of them is a hammer. And that's one of the things I wanted to try and make today. Uh, because the hammer is like a pickaxe, but it mines, uh, like, a lot more blocks than just, like, one block at a time. I think it does, like, nine blocks uh, whenever you break stuff with it. But to make that, you need to get a tool forge. So that's what I want to try and make today, is to get a tool forge. And to do that, I'm going to need uh, three more seared bricks. Uh, so I'm going to have to go get... Uh, more seared bricks, which uh, needs the grout. And so to get the grout, I need the uh, the clay, gravel, and sand again, which I still have some left. So I'm going to go ahead and make some of this. Now, I did notice uh, last episode, I left a bunch of gravel just sitting in this chest. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. Now, I got to remember what the recipe was. I think it was gravel like that clay in the middle, and then sand around the sides. Yes, there we go. So that is grout. I don't know how much I'm going to need. I'm going to make 24 because it's used for a lot of stuff in this. I don't know if you can smelt this in the smeltery. Oh, it actually does work. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and just smelt it in here then. I didn't know if that would work or not. Uh, so let's see how this works because... I can get it out with, like, the ingots, but it's going to be really slow. Which, this is another thing that I wanted to try and work on today. Is I wanted to upgrade this uh, and add some channels to it. So, you can make some channels using, like, the seared bricks. So, what did we get? Oh, seared stone. Uh, is that what we want? I have no idea. Wait, oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, I want to put that back. What does this give me? Does this... Oh, no, it's doing iron. Oops, I gotta switch it. I'm hoping that this is going to give me the seared bricks. So if I go ahead and switch that, otherwise this might not work. That looks like a seared brick, right? Uh, why did it give me both of these back? I have two seared bricks. Let's see. I think that gave me a seared brick back. Yeah, it does. Okay. So this is why I wanted to build the channels so that I can have it all go into one spot and I can have like multiple uh, different like casting tables running at once. So I want to see if that'll even work. I haven't really messed around with the channels before. So that's one of the things I wanted to test today. But they're really easy to make. Now I have enough to get uh, the bricks here. So now I can... Uh, make the tool forge, but before I do that, I need to make another one of the blank patterns. Do I have any in here? No, I don't have any blank patterns, so I gotta make one. Alright, so here's our uh, blank pattern. I need to make another tool station, and then you can upgrade this with iron blocks, and then the seared bricks like that, and that makes a tool forge. Uh, the only thing is I just use like a bunch of my iron to make that. Uh, but I've got plenty of iron in there that I still have to get out. So this will allow me to now make better tools. So this right here is the hammer. This is what I want to try and make today. So this is the components over here. So we got to get a large plate, hammer head, and a tough tool rod. So to make that, we need to go over the here, and we got to get the uh, the different patterns for that, which I have some blank patterns. So now i got to figure out where those are at. So here's the tool rod. 
We need the plate. Is that this? Yeah, large plate. So we'll get that. And what was the other thing that I needed for the hammer? Oh, hammerhead. All right, so the hammerhead should be one of these. Is this the hammerhead? Yeah, here it is. So these are all the different things that I need. The next thing I got to figure out is what resource I can use. Now, one of the things I wanted to try is I wanted to try making this out of, like, diamonds. I don't know if you can make emerald tools with this, but I do have some diamonds over here. I have some emeralds over here and some lapis, which is used for the luck enchantment. So I want to see what I can do with these. I think you have to build them over here. So if I put the tool rod in here and then put a diamond in, that doesn't work. What if I put an iron block in? So the first thing I need to do is I need to make these casts so I can actually make this stuff. So to do that, we need stone. Uh, so if I put a bunch of stone in here, we can make uh, one of these tool rods. I might as well just put all the stone. And then I need to make the large plate. We need to make uh, the head. And that should be all the components that we need. So the next thing I need to do is I need to actually make casts of these. So I, I need the pickaxe cast. Uh, actually, I don't know if I need to make a pickaxe cast. Because I've already got the iron pickaxe. Unless I want to make like a different handle. Because you can like mix the handles. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this iron pickaxe I've got here. And just use and just enhance that to get it better properties but i do need to go get my gold which is somewhere around here i think it's over here yeah so i'm gonna go and smelt down all of this gold here uh so that i can actually uh make another cast because uh, you can put the ingots back in here and it will smelt it down uh i also want to keep making the seared bricks so let's get this out of here and let's keep making as many of these as I can. And then after that's done, I can go ahead and do the cast. Alright, so I've got all the bricks made. So now I need to make the cast by uh, pouring gold on all of the, uh, the stone pieces. And then that'll get me a cast. Hopefully I have enough gold. Uh, I don't know how much it actually uses to make one of these. It can't be that much. It's probably like one... Maybe two pieces of gold each time. But there we go. We've got all these. So now I can switch this over to iron now. And I can make an iron handle. I need to make two plates. Uh, so I'm going to need that. And then I need to make an iron head. So as soon as this is done, I'm going to grab that. We'll go ahead and make the head. And the last thing we'll do is the plate. Which this looks like it's taking a lot of iron to make. Because it's going slower. So while that's going, let's make these channels. So to make them... Oh, not that. Uh, it's like this. There we go. So this allows you to help move the molten uh, metals around. I'm not sure if you can actually connect things to them or if they only go in a straight line. So that's what I want to test. So they can come out of here. Can you turn them? Oh, you can. All right, that's good. Now, can I connect a faucet to it? What just happened? Uh, oh, okay. So you can like select where they flow. That's interesting. Uh, but I don't know if it actually, I guess you could like drop it from there. I'm not sure how these work. So this will flow down. Oh, there we go. Okay. I got it to go in. And then I can do that. So can I just get this to flow like that? There we go. So it does actually work. The only thing is I'm now going to have to smelt this iron block down as soon as it's done. Oh, great. Do we not have enough iron? Uh-oh. Uh, well, I have more iron. So here, let's put some more iron in here. So we'll go ahead and... I might as well fill it all up. There we go. So that'll give me some more iron. So this does kind of work. Okay, so the iron is almost done uh, smelting. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up again. I'm going to set this to... Oh, great. I've already messed stuff up. Okay, that should be set up again. The iron is done smelting. So I'm going to go ahead and set it to go into the... Oh, did we run out of iron again? 
Wait, what's happening? Oh, wait. I think... I think it's working. I th yeah, so now I just need to set everything to go into the block, I think. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now I can make another block. So I've got myself the, uh, the plate. We've got another block almost being created. There we go. So now I can go and get rid of this because I'm no longer going to use this. This works a little bit. But I think I need to change the way uh, the smeltery works before I can actually start using these. So I'm going to go put this in the chest. I might as well put it in this chest over here along with all the other stuff. So I'll put that in there with the bricks. Uh, I'll keep the clay separate. But now I can make the hammer over here. So we need the head. We need the plates. And then we need the handle, and now I have an iron hammer. Uh, you can also name your tools as well in here. Uh, it's got the mining level of diamonds, which is pretty good. So I'm going to go and grab that. Now if we go over here, I can modify this by adding diamonds to it. Uh, I don't know if that like increases the more you put. I have no idea. I'm just going to do one to start off with. So we're going to do one diamond... Can we do a second one? Oh, you can only apply it once. All right, so we're going to do that. And then I don't want to do lapis. I want to go get redstone. Let's get 3.5 mining speed. And we're going to go ahead and grab that. Because all this is going to be used for is like clearing out stone. Like, look at this. That's really all I need this for. Oh, great. Um, yeah, I guess I could do that. Because I wanted to get... Uh, like stone brick walls in here, but this is going to be really helpful uh, for clearing out these rooms I just have to figure out how to actually use this to break the blocks So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the torches back here Eventually, I'm going to get uh, stone bricks in here. Oh, can it do gravel? No, it can only do stone stuff, so it can't do gravel. Uh, it sounds like there's a zombie somewhere. Wait a minute. Is this, like, open over here? I think we're, like, really close to the edge of the mountain. Okay, so I've cleared out the room now. All I have to do is put all of the bricks in. I also need to get, like, a, a shovel. I have this shovel that I can use. Uh, so I can use this to break all of the gravel. And then I can go ahead and put the, uh, the torches down. So I'll go ahead and put a few torches up here. So that way there's some light. And there we go. So that's all lit up. So we shouldn't get anything to spawn. I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the ground. Because I don't really like them there. Now I want to upgrade my pickaxe. So if I do... Diamond to do the durability. I'm going to do a lot of redstone and a lot of lapis because I think the lapis increases it as well. So how much lapis do I even have? Uh, I don't have any more in there. I don't have any more in there. Is it all over at the quarry? All the lapis might be at the quarry. So I'm going to go ahead and grab up everything that I've got. And you can actually change these later. Uh, so to make the first level, what is it? Oh, it's 60. So I need to get 60 pieces of lapis. How much redstone do I need? I only need 50. Uh, so if I go ahead and split these apart and get 50 redstone, I need to go get a little bit more lapis. Hopefully there's some at the quarry. If there's not, I wanted to go mining... Uh, at the, uh, the ore spikes to get some more iron anyways. So let's go over to this ore spike first before I head over to the quarry. Now I can use my new hammer, uh, to break this. I think it does ores. Yeah, it does ores. So it will do ores. The only thing is it doesn't give you, uh, like luck because I didn't put that on here. But you can break, uh, pretty much all these ores with the hammer. I really need to get its durability up because it's already taken a lot of damage. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and break this. And is there anything like actually in here? No. But this is going to be really helpful for uh, mining. So I'm going to go over to 
the quarry real quick and see if there's any lapis and hopefully uh, the tornado doesn't show up. So I've got, did I put diamonds on it? Yeah, I got the diamonds. I just need to add a little bit more uh, lapis. So if I go ahead and build this up to 60, that'll get us luck one. So we've got a uh, haste and we got luck one. Now you can get luck two if you add more uh, lapis to it. 180 to get luck two, which I think is the same as like fortune two, which is a lot of lapis. So I'm just going to stick with this. It's apparently got a mining speed of 12.92. I want to see how good this is. Uh, let's just test it out here. Oh, this is pretty quick. So one of the things that you can make is you can make an excavator, which I think is the shovel version of the hammer that like digs a large area of like dirt or gravel. Uh, so I could make that. Uh, you can also repair tools, which I want to see what you actually need to do that. So I can put like an iron block in here. Can I put diamonds? No, that, that doesn't work. I think you have to use iron to uh, repair this. So you can repair the tools, which is kind of helpful. And I don't think it takes any levels. So it's not like an anvil where it takes levels to repair stuff. Uh, you can actually repair normal tools in here, but you can repair any of the special tools in Tinker's Construct. Now, what is going on with this tornado? It sounds crazy. Where's this? It's like right above us right now. I do need to head the bed. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep. And I do not want to go outside, but I do have a window. Oh, actually, it might not be a good idea to go to the window. Uh, the window might break. This is not good. You know what, Blockling, I want you to follow me over here so that you're far away from the window in case something happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go take this guy and we're going to go outside and go do some farming along with uh, also doing some hunting as well. I don't know if there's any animals around here uh, to really test this guy out on. Because it's best to, to kind of start him off with uh, easy mobs because I don't want him to die. What was that? It's raining cows. What? Did you see that? Just a random cow fell out of the sky. Okay, well, uh, where's the blockling at? You should be following me, right? Uh, blockling? Where'd you go? I see him on the map. Where is he at? Do I have him set the farm? I don't even know if I have him set the farm. Uh, here we go. Let's... What are you doing? Blockling? Is the blockling glitched? Okay, so it is now morning, so we should have all day to go do some hunting. Uh, where's the blockling at? He's right over here. Now, I brought the other blockling with me so that uh, I can have him also level up uh, his skills. So now, we're gonna go to the plains biome and go see if I can find any animals. Okay, so I've got both the blocklings following me now. They're both set to hunt, so we just have to get him to go after this cow. I kind of want to get the iron one to uh, go after the mobs. So that I can get him leveled up. Now, we do have a dungeon over there. So, we got to be pretty careful. But look at all these cows. Let's see if we can get him to come over here. All right. I think they've just given up on following me now. Which is not good. Because I need to get him to go after the cows. Can you come over here? All right. Well, the blocklings don't seem to want to really do anything uh, right now. So, I think that's going to be uh, pretty much it for today. I'm gonna try and get these guys back to the house. I just realized there's a really a large spike over there. I don't know if that's an ore spike or what that is, but that might be another thing to go investigate because if that's an ore spike, it looks like it's one of the big ones. Yeah, that's definitely an ore spike. So I'm gonna have to go over there and go and get some ores. Eventually, I do wanna go mining uh, with the blocklings, but at the moment, they don't really seem to want to do anything. So, I don't know if that's going to work very well. But I'll try going mining with them uh, at some point. 
But I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, so make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.